Gerlach, and welcome to the Taoiseach here to the House today. And I welcome your comments, Taoiseach, on the importance of this House in terms of scrutiny of legislation and independent voices. Uh, based in the West, Taoiseach, we are a region in transition. We are already at a disadvantage in the West of Ireland. In this country, we have startling levels of inequality, and that's in terms of investment across a number of key areas. That's in health, it's in education, it's in infrastructure, it's in transport. It means we have underinvestment in the West per head of population right now. And that was a report, of course, uh, that was done by the Northwestern Regional Assembly. And Minister I wel or Thishak, sorry, I welcomed you to my hometown of Banaslow last week, to St. Teresa's uh, Special Needs School, and uh, very much welcomed the news of you know, the new build there, which will be absolutely fantastic for the 30 children. I really look forward to that, because we're 25 years waiting for a national school in Banaslow town a process that we're working on, and I'm working with the Department of Education on, but 25 years waiting. Um, we also have the HSC Capital Plan, Thishuk, and I really would welcome commitment in that, and I know that that is moving forward, that we have them in the HSC Capital Plan for a 50-bed unit for Port Junkla Hospital. Again, multi-bed wards in that hospital, trying to fight infection control, as well as the rehabilitative unit that will be in Roscommon University Hospital too. Galway County Council, as has been mentioned by Senator Coyne here, second lowest funded council in the country, that report, Thishuk, said that we need positive discrimination in the West to actually balance the levels of investment. How is it fair that any family, any family in the West somehow is living with levels of disadvantage compared to any other region of the country? Thishuk, something has to be done. It has to be done. Um, as education as spokesperson for Fine Gael, Thishuk, I'm also passionate about education, the wealth of talent in our country on knowledge in arts, literature, poetry, as well as history to guide us in the future. We have to increase investment in research to be a global innovation leader. We know, Thishuk, the European average, I mean, it's roughly about 2.19%. Ireland lags behind on that, and it's something that we do need to focus on to become a global innovation leader and to keep investment in our country. Uh, Minister, I welcome all that you've mentioned in terms of the Shared Island Initiative. I believe everything that's been done on the cross-border canal and research programmes are very, very welcome. I also would like to just acknowledge the work of my colleague, Senator Emer Curry, I suppose, in this area, and also to acknowledge the recent loss of her father, Austin Curry. Gremila Magath. <laughs>